Hey guys, so this is the book I'm talking about today, Letters to the Lost. It was another one of my favorite books of 2020, and I initially heard about it on another booktuber's channel that I watch. Uh, her name is Murphy Napier, and I will see if I can link her channel in the description box below. She's got her main one that uh, was what I started watching, and where she talks about, you know, books and manga and might do light spoilers, um, you know, kind of overviews different things and talks about what she's going to read in the future. And then she's got a second channel that she started recently where she does dedicated reviews and goes into spoiler heavy, t heavy territory and stuff like that. But anyway, the, her channel is where I first heard about this book. And it is about this girl whose mother has died. And when she goes to visit the grave one day, she finds this letter written by this guy who is doing kind of a community service thing because he got into some kind of trouble. I can't remember exactly what, but he got into trouble. And so part of his community service is cleaning up and mowing the, the cemetery where her mother is buried. And she sees this letter of his where he basically, what does he actually put? I might read off a little bit of this. Um, yeah, so he sees her and decides to write to her and, uh, what does he say? He, oh, he sees different photographs that she's taken. She's a photographer, uh, following in her mom's footsteps because her mom was a photographer. But anyway, yeah, you know, he writes it and the last line that he puts in this letter is, I think I know exactly how she feels. And our main character, uh, her name is Julie, Juliet. I thought it was Julia. Juliet is pissed when she sees this letter. And she writes back to him, you know, and it's kind of a how dare you say this, you have no idea how I feel kind of thing. But the two of them, without knowing who the other is in person, start this friendship through these letters. And it it was just a really really good book i love how you know i love how bridget Cameron takes these characters who have these walls up because of whatever circumstances in their lives and through meeting one another those walls are realistically broken down and they learn how to trust one another and their lives in general improve not just to one another, but their, their entire lives improve based on their ability to learn how to trust just one person and then slowly extend that to other areas of their lives. But um, I learned also that there is a sequel to Letters to the Lost. And of course, I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, <sighs> No, More Than a Feeling is a Boston song. Um, More Than We Can Tell. More Than We Can Tell is the sequel to Letters to the Lost. And it is, you know, I know that people have their opinions about sequels. They're never as good as the original. And, you know, for, for the most part, there are the rare exceptions with movies and books and all that. But More Than We Can Tell, I honestly think, is as close to a perfect book as you can get. It is just, it's amazing. <laughs> and I will talk about that one in the next video. But for now, Letters to the Lost, I definitely recommend reading it. If you have read it, please comment, tell me what you thought, tell me what your favorite part was. If you haven't, but you'd like to, by all means, like, subscribe, subscribe, comment, share, whatever it is, you know, help me get my views up and everything, let the, you know, pray to the algorithm gods and all that, that I'm not lost in the sea of thousands of other YouTubers. Anyway, again, Letters to the Lost, definitely read if you get the chance.